Hello everyone, my name is Will Carmack, and I found some great mood lighting. And I found the ultimate titles pack from Digital Products 669. Which, by the way, I'll say it right now, is available in the description below. And it's also available via Envato Elements. This video is sponsored by them guys, but let me tell you, I'm gonna teach you theory about titling in general, showing you how to use templates and graphic animations in product videography and landscape videography, and to simply show you how to use maybe lower thirds to make a product review look better. This is honestly one of the best title packs I have come across. Before we go into using the titles in videography, I just wanna go over some of the cool templates within this pack. So this one's my favorite. It's part of the retro collection in this pack. If you look at this one as well, uh, we just love the neon. This is Retro 12, could be my favorite. You can see how this would work really well in a landscape video shoot. And then we've got Modern, which you can imagine a lot of companies these days like this kind of stuff. Very polished and sleek, and you would use this probably in like an infomercial, or honestly like an MTV intro. And then next we have the cartoon templates. I really like this one that says Brooklyn. Such a good like location stamp title. I'm glad they made these designs and I didn't have to because I wouldn't have been able to make something, I think this vibey on my own. And then let's say maybe you're Anderson Cooper or you wanna run your own uh, daily news show. Part of this ultimate titles pack is a bunch of broadcast templates, which are great lower thirds for maybe introducing a new character, a subject, or just news stuff in general. Ooh, and then maybe arguably my second favorite opposed to retro is the vintage collection in the ultimate titles pack. Sorry, I've said that so many times, I'm not trying to, it's just like, I can see these being like the graphic animation in like a coffee commercial or something very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at them right here on my phone. I feel like this one would be really good for like a barber shop. I just get that vibe. There are more categories as displayed on these monitors here. And now I'm gonna hook my camera up to some crazy motion control devices and film some great stock videography and show you how these titles can make these stock videos better. Or at least show you how to use stock videos with title templates. Does this make you take me less seriously? I'm still gonna show you and it's gonna be cool. Okay, product videography with ultimate titles pack templates. Let's go. So I'm gonna start these shots off with the retro pack. And quite perfectly, I actually have a bunch of arcade machines myself. And so I think I can get some footage that would just be perfect for the retro pack. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Yes, I'll be there in just a sec. Quick interjection of a lower thirds to show that my target shopper just showed up. We love delivery. So let's get some cool product shots of these arcades. So I can show you how to use these templates to make your footage more practical and efficient. Next, I wanna show you guys how to use the modern templates. These are pretty cool when I was thinking of a product that would work well with these. Like modern, what would go with that? A VR headset, the Oculus Rift. I think this, the Oculus Rift, would be a great addition to this tutorial. Let's see if these modern titles make this Oculus look more modern. And so now I wanna show you the vintage templates. Just yesterday, I actually bought this Canonet QL17. Focus, 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 yes. It's the sick film camera from 1972. I'm personally in love with it. I think this and all my old cameras would be a good prop, would be good props for the vintage templates. I think they would look nice together. So yeah, let me continue to show you how cool these titles are. Plus, by showing you that because my footage is cool as well. Like, let's not forget that I'm cool too, okay? Oh, 
Oh, by the way, this is what I got from Target. Some paper towels. We just moved here, so we gotta, you know, fill up the house with supplies. Also, apologize for the mess. Like, like I was saying, we just moved here, so. So now I wanna show you some of the cartoon templates, but I wanted to film them with landscape shots, like outside. But because I don't wanna go outside, due to the current state of the world, I'm gonna use some beautiful stock footage to show you the cartoon effect with some nice cities and other great landscape shots. I'll go edit those right now. <laughs> Now, can you guess which template collection I'm gonna show you? Oh, yes, that's right, broadcast. Basically lower thirds, pop-up information. We love broadcast. So I think for this one, I'm just going to give a fake uh, weather report and just show you how you could use it in like a talk show format. I don't even know what I'm gonna film for that yet, so I'm, I apologize if it's weird, but I bet it's amazing. Hello, my name is Will Carmack and today I'll be reporting the news from the Arts District in downtown California. There'll be a fiery storm of great content coming out of Will Carmack's channel from the South Central area in Los Angeles. Some incredibly great lower thirds coming in from the left from the ultimate titles pack from an Avado element. I'm suddenly in a volcano with some proper lower thirds with matching colors from this great template. Wow, am I not the best newscaster in the whole free world? If you like my content, dab, follow me on Instagram, displayed by this great lower thirds from the ultimate title pack from Envato Elements. What's up guys? Now that I've showed you how cool the titles look with footage, I thought I would, oh, I was looking at the monitor, I'm sorry. I thought I would show you how to work with these templates within Adobe Premiere. <clears throat> we'll start with downloading them once you've purchased the package. You just need to get it to your motion templates folder. So start by going to your application support, find Adobe, then common, and then you can just paste what you've downloaded into the motion templates folder. And from there we can hop into Adobe Premiere. So it's incredibly simple. If you come up to the graphics panel at the top, you'll see that you have the option to browse within in your templates folder. If you type in TUT, that'll basically narrow it down to everything in the ultimate titles pack. So you can browse through all of the templates. You just look at the footage that you've shot. You peer right into the graphics templates folder. And from there, you simply just pick which one you like. Once you find one, you just click it and you drag it into the timeline above the clip that you want. We love drag and, dr drag and drop technology. So from there, the rest is actually really easy. The interface is incredible with these templates. And as you can see here with these sliders, you can control the scale, the position, and sometimes the width and height of assets within the template. It's basically really easy to customize these templates once you've dragged them into your timeline. And then better yet, if we wanna talk about titles and using them with footage, it helps if you color coordinate the title with the footage that you're overlaying it on top of. Luckily for us, the Ultimate Title Packs templates come with the great options. Options? Color color changing option. If you come down to the color selection section, you can pick and choose what color each part of the motion template is, which makes it really easy to have aesthetically pleasing footage with templates because they can match and have aesthetically coordinating colors. This sentence was too long, I'm sorry. <laughs> And then next, and probably the most important, since these are text templates, under the text holder tab, you can actually just type in easy peasy, whatever you want. So whatever the placeholder text in the motion template is, is now whatever you wanted to write. Bam, so that's how you download and use these motion templates. You just drag them into your timeline and they have a section for how to customize every aspect of it. Sweet, and now to the outro. So there's a few more I haven't shown you that I will flash on the screen now. Ultimately, I do think this ultimate title pack from Envato Elements is a really nice template pack. The sun is so bright, I'm sorry guys. As someone who does a lot of product videography for people and companies, I'd say this is a great purchase. It's not hard to download. There's a great variety 
of textures, designs, colors. And the uh, best part yet is uh, you can check my description right now. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Envato Elements. I really love your ultimate title pack and I hope everyone here does too of course in the description. And since I filmed this part last, I know I forgot to do an outro in that scene. So, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day. Follow me on TikTok. I make the best TikToks on earth.